It wasn't a diet that could have kept him going for long, but after surviving on cat food and some raw meat for about four days, Jonas is home. The tiger, along with two camels, Sean and Todd, who belonged to the Bowmanville Zoo, was stolen from a motel parking lot in <laughs> Quebec on June 18th. Thieves made off with a truck and trailer transporting the animals back home from doing a show in Nova Scotia. The theft made international headlines when staff became concerned for the well-being of the animals, particularly Jonas, as they weren't certain the animals were receiving food and water. While they were in their captivity, the camels were receiving hay, but uh, Jonas was receiving little friskies. Uh, again, something I would never have thought of in a million years, but uh, again, if you don't know cats, what, what would be normal, normal than yeah, domesticated cat food. As soon as I saw Jonas, I knew he was fine, because you could see his eyes were bright, he was interactive, he's chuffing at us. Jonas has lived here at the Bowmanville Zoo since he was just a few weeks old. So when he arrived home early Tuesday morning, staff say it was like being reunited with a family member. Jonas was raised by everyone here at the zoo. We would take turns taking him home at night to bottle raise him. And so um, that leaves a mark. Uh, and so he really is part of the family. To prove just how much Jonas is part of the family, Hackenberger brought his son on stage to play with the nearly three-year-old cat. He said there has never been another animal like Jonas that he would trust with his son. When my mom texted me saying they were safe, I mean, I was really, really happy, just relieved, kind of. I consider most of the animals part of our family. Hackenberger and the Quebec police don't think this was a targeted theft, but rather a crime of opportunity. In his 38 years of running the zoo, he said he's never experienced anything like this. Based on this experience, we're going to be changing how we move animals. We're going to be putting kill switches on trucks. We'll be putting GPSs on trucks. Um, with our big uh, semis, we have sleeping accommodations. We'll probably be putting sleeping accommodations in trailers with our smaller stuff, too, just to avoid this type of thing. Quebec police are still investigating the incident. In Bowmanville, Mandy Hargrave reporting.